the bench press, the one and only. All right, so we're going to cover the bench press in a lot of different ways because it's, it, this is also the exercise that tends to, like, over time or sometimes in just one go, injure people because it's not done right. So I'm going to cover a lot of aspects of the setup on, on the cues that you want to have to, not, one, keep this safe for you uh, to get stronger long term, get the most out of the exercise, work as, mo as much muscle as possible. So when I'm going to go down, the first part of the setup is to actually, so I like to use these or whatever bench you're on, to push your shoulder blades down and create almost, imagine if you put a, a, a foam roller in the middle of your back, like, right? You can see how I'm getting a proud chest. So my abs are still nice and tight, but I don't want to be here. I want to get a proud chest, get those shoulder blades nice and, and, and tight because we want to have a good base to push off. So as I'm here, I like to do this just to get that feeling of being really nice and solid. Now, watch my feet. I'm going to, this is, you don't hear a lot of people talking about this from my friend A.J. Roberts, who's one of the strongest men in the world in, in powerlifting. And, but we're going to turn our toes in and push the big toe into the ground. Now, what that does, if I try to lift my hips off, I won't be able to in this position. So it's going to keep me nice and solid and keep the emphasis on my upper body so that I'm not arching like crazy, okay? So I'm going to turn my toes in. I'm going to get my upper back nice and tight. Then I'm going to find, like I said, you know, there's, the wider you go, the more your chest is going to be involved. The closer you grow, the more triceps is going to be. So we're going to go somewhere in between right now. Now, I'm going to stay really, really tight as I slide this off. If somebody's helping you, assisting you, keep those lats tight as you bring this off, okay? At this point in time, I'm going to try to break the bar. So you can see how I'm going to, if I try to break the bar, watch, watch what happens to my elbows, right? They're going to go in a little bit. I'm creating more stability in my upper back. I'm keeping my knuckles up. So even though this is not incorrect, it works more triceps, we want to keep our knuckles to the ceiling. So I'm ripping the bar apart, knuckles to the ceiling, toes are in, upper back is tight, and now I'm going to roll that bar down and explode up, okay? Watch, I'm not going super wide with my elbows. See how they're about 45 degree angle, coming down. I'm constantly trying to rip the bar. I'm trying to rip the bar apart, trying to rip the bar apart. Pushing my big toes in. The other thing is, so you want to let the bar hit you, nipples or, or maybe even a little bit below. Higher up that you go, it's not wrong, right? So the higher that we go, the more we're engaging shoulders and chest in certain areas. But if you have beat up shoulders and, and you're cranky, go with the more power lifting. Like I said, the, the, the variation I showed you where the elbows go here is more power lifting based. So you're going to get stronger, safer for the shoulders, upper back is nice and tight. When you start coming out more, Right, you're stretching that chest and certain shoulder ligaments out too, depending on your shoulder position. And that may not be safe for you. So it depends. I, I prefer to keep it here. This is safer. You're going to get a ton out of it. You're going to be stronger. You're going to be more stable. Right? So remember, when you're injured and banged up, you're not getting results. Right? When, you're, when you're busting up ligaments, you're not getting results. Okay? So this is how you get results and stay safe and healthy and keep pushing hard without having layoffs because of nagging injuries and problems, okay? So keep all those coaching cues in account, right? So we're putting those big toes into the ground, pushing them, so it's keeping our hips nice and locked in. We're bundling up our upper back, getting that proud chest, keeping our abs tight. We get our lats solid and pull it off so they're still tight. Then we try to break the bar this way. Obviously, we can't break it, but trying to gets everything engaged. And then instead of just dropping the bar, we're rowing the bar down right about... Nipples or below, right? Continue to squeeze and then rip up and, and push now, right? If we wanted to get more engagement of the chest, instead of breaking the bar this way, we'd push it in and get more chest, more tension, be more of a bodybuilding style. And depending on what's in the program, we'll always explain what the t tension is on it. So that's our bench press.